So now please help me welcome our speaker, Rich Templeton. Mark, it is great to be here. I am as excited about the industry that we work in, even though I've been in it 36 years, uh, I actually think the next 20 years is, is more exciting than the, than the past 36 I've been involved in. But over the past, call it 50 years, new devices have been the primary drivers of growth in the semiconductor industry. But the thing to me that's exciting, and it's why, you know, again, I think if you're just entering this world as an engineer or scientist, I think the greatest stuff is ahead of us, is take a look at what is interesting right now and look around and start thinking about the fact that existing systems that we know of today, in order to get them smarter, in order to get them safer, in order to have them use less energy, be better connected, what's it going to take to take devices that we know today and make them more intelligent? And we will get higher growth in the semiconductor market simply because the content that's inside of these systems is going to continue to increase. So I think it's a pretty fascinating time and, uh, and it really is going to be, uh, be pretty powerful from that point. You will actually have hundreds, and I think I might take the bet on closer to a thousand applications driving growth. Think about the multidisciplinary skills that an engineer now needs to have. Could be the optical domain, could be RF, could be understanding something mechanical. Oh, by the way, you've got to get it converted into the world of semiconductor software, RF, or the implementation itself. I think it's a fascinating and in, in many ways a much more challenging environment for us as we go forward. Some of you have known TI for a number of years and, and have watched us evolve. You now look 10 years later, you see new technologies emerging from TI like gallium nitride or new isolation capabilities so we can go in thousand volt protection on some of these circuits. Just a very different world. But if you bring them something capable, they will certainly use that as a starting point of which they do some of their engineering. We've got research teams in Kilby Labs uh, here in Dallas, out in Santa Clara, as well as in Bangalore that are also challenged with that thought process of find some of these hard problems that our customers have and are there ways that we can really bring disruptive solutions to try to solve them in a way that no other, no other supplier can. We are absolutely on our way. We think it is an exciting world. Industrial and automotive will be the drivers. I think it will be an entirely different challenge for the next generation of engineers that we have growing up, both at our customers, but also inside of TI. And it's why we have such a great time when we do get a chance to spend time out in the university environment to talk about that. So I just, I think the future, while I've had, you know, 36 wonderful years of the past, I actually think the next 30 could even be more exciting in terms of what we're facing. Usually first coming out of school, there's this desire to continue with the, the depth of knowledge that you were working on very specifically, be it masters or your PhD work. But I will tell you, people that are curious about how the world works and how to make it work better, they tend to be the most successful ones. And that curiosity will take you across applications, will take you across technologies, and it will ac actually take you deeper down into technologies to be able to solve those problems. So if I had one to recommend, put curiosity at the top of your list of capabilities.